Hey everyone, what's up? Newbie Snake here. How are you all doing today? Alright, so the maintenance was just over a couple hours ago and we've got some new events and summons in both the English and the Japanese version. So as usual, I'll go through some details on the English version and then I'll switch over to the Japanese version and talk about those news and events over there. So let's get started. Alright, so the first one, we have this Hard Elementals Power Up Support Campaign. And this time, for the first time ever, the English version is getting um, uh, an event first or an exclusive one. I don't know. I think they're just getting it first. But this is the first time ever that the English version is ahead of the Japanese version because I didn't even see any news regarding a Hard Elementals Power Up Support Campaign over at the Japanese version, okay? Unless I've made a super huge mistake that we've had a long time ago and somehow I've missed it, okay? Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so much like the Body Elemental Power Up Support Campaign, uh, they are giving out the Red Ramen and the Red Scrolls this time, okay? So basically they're having the Red Scrolls uh, mission as well as the Red Ramen mission, okay? This mission will last from October 26, 1 p.m. P I mean 1 a.m. PST, all the way to November 1st, 1959 PST. Sorry for the pause there. I was pausing because I was like, if it's on the 24 hours clock, I shouldn't even say a.m. or p.m. Anyway, sorry for um, you know being kind of stupid there. But let's move on to the event information. Okay, let's forget about that. Okay. Anyway, so we have the Burning Will of Fire Summon now for the English version. So again, really cool. We just had it last week for the Japanese version and it just ended. And then now the English version is having it. So they're exactly one week behind. And also one cool part is now, again, this uh, is only on the English version, at least for now. This is the Heart Elemental Ninja Summon. So before we had the Body Elemental and this time we have the Heart Elemental. And oh my goodness, guys. Tsunade is once again featured. So I, I just got to show you guys this, okay? Especially to those of you who just play on the Japanese version. You guys got to see this one. Just take a look at this, man. I mean, guys. And uh, check this out. So Tsunade is there and all featured characters, much like the Body Elemental part. Uh, all featured characters will appear at level 50. So, you know, if I actually get this again over at the um, Japanese version, I'm going to dump some gems in trying to get Tsunade because I've been saving up only for Tsunade. But I'll talk about the Japanese version in a second because we're having Itachi today. So that means I'm probably going to use all my gems. Anyway, so yeah, let's go back to the news part. Uh, portion i was gonna say portion and part uh, anyway so yeah let's let's go back to um the news but if you guys have been trying to get tsunade but you guys had no luck this is a good time to get her now i i guess i didn't see the rates yet but you guys who are playing can definitely check the rates yourselves okay so anyways burning will fire summon is on right now uh this heart elemental ninja summon is also on also, the Bridge Demon Summon is on as well, so you have a chance to get Zabuza, alright? Right here. Again, he can be awakened to a 6 stars. So, three different summons. Uh, and also, the Sky Summon is still there, as you guys can see. I just showed you like 2 minutes ago, or 50 seconds ago, you guys saw that. So, there are tons of summons going on right now. And then, uh, the boss raid for Zabuza will be coming back again. So you know uh be prepared if you guys are still wanting to do this raid uh, i mean boss sorry and then also over here the extreme they're calling it extreme um over here in the english version um i call it descent because that's what it says on the jap uh, like with the japanese characters so exact same thing as the th uh, the details i've covered on the japanese version so you guys missed that feel free to check that out basically there will be b ranks a ranks and s rank version b rank you'll be able to obtain the second hokage um and then throughout a rank to s rank you will be able to obtain hashirama okay from b to s you'll be able to obtain well a chance to obtain the second hokage all right but hashirama will not drop at b ranks only a and above and they're extremely hard because i tried them on the english i mean on the japanese version so if you guys um really want both hashirama and a second hokage you guys might need to you know be really prepared so take out like with you with 
take with you some really strong units or be prepared to spend some gems. So I had to spend around six gems in total, not only for one uh, mission, okay? I attempted like three to four times. I was doing a mission, but um, because Hashirama wouldn't drop. And then I had to attempt three to four times. I think he dropped at the fourth time or even the fifth time, I totally forgot. But uh, anyways, and then I start grinding out uh, B rank because I didn't need gems to grind out B rank. So I got a lot of uh, Tobirama there. So that's it for that. Uh, just a reminder, it will start on October 29th, Saturday, 10 PST, all the way to October 30th, 10 PST. So only 24 hours, okay? So if you guys are free that day, free, uh, feel free to play. And if you guys aren't free that day, then unfortunately you might have to wait till this comes back again. So that's it for this. And uh, let's go and talk about the last one. So over here, Orochimaru's uh, event will be coming back soon, as well as the Haku one. Okay, so that's it for the English version. Now I'm going to move on to the Japanese version, so be right back. Alright, thanks for waiting, so I'm back with the Japanese version. Alright, so the first one will be this one. It's just a friendly reminder. Remember the campaign where Naruto Shippuden is airing in Japan every Thursday. Uh, so every Thursday between uh, 1825 to 1955, if you guys log in, you will be able to receive two ninja pearls in your gift boxes. All right. Uh, or yeah. Um, anyways, I think I've missed out on last week's uh, two ninja pearls because I totally forgot. But this week, which is about uh, in two days, well, one and a half day, I guess. Uh, anyways, it's Japan's time. Okay, so log in during this time. Japan's time. So Japan's Thursday, 1825 to 1955, you guys will be able to get like two ninja stones. And if not, then you just miss out on that. Okay, no big deal. Um, all right, so now let's move on. So the first one up, we all have been waiting for it, is the gacha. All right, so on the gacha, you'll be able to get Itachi. So this is a new Itachi that we're getting. Uh, he comes out as a five stars and then you can awaken him. Uh, at, to a six stars okay and i believe he is the same as you know the shu kakugara this um uh, rockley as well as the zabuza they require the um, raid materials to be awakened to six stars so anyways uh this itachi has a large range and this is attack 1380 1318 and uh health at 1108 okay and what he does is he uses tsukuyomi and uh, I believe these are the two skills, or yeah, or just one. Maybe it's two. Anyways, what this does for the first one up here is that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, within his range, he'll deal 6.5 times damage to all enemies within his range. The second skill right here is, um, let's see. Okay, so for his own turn, when he's attacking, for, for, for his own three turns he will be able to dodge okay three times in total but again i'm gonna read that when i when i when i go into the gacha so i hope that it's not too confusing for you guys so basically for his own uh three turns he will be able to dodge a total of three times okay so now let's move on to uh, the next news Okay, so the second part is the special sale, guys. So the bundle sale, if you guys remember, uh, the very first bundle sale we had was Sakura. The next one we had the Curse Sasuke. And now we have Might Guy. So five stars guy, he will turn into a six stars, which is really nice. Attack is 1638, health is 1574. That's pretty huge. And uh, range is small, all right? So he has a small range. But what it does for the first skill, um, again, I don't know if this is in the particular order, like if the first one is the first skill and the second one is a secret jutsu or it's a uh, switch, okay? So I don't really know, but anyways, I'm going to read out both out. So the first one is for um, five turns, so after you use your skill for the next five turns, your attack will be increased by 75%, okay? And the second one is it will deal 3.6 times your attack damage to all the enemies within your range, okay, within the range of the ninjutsu. 
So that's it for uh, guy. So if you guys are thinking of spending money, uh, you guys you know can consider getting this guy. And for those of you who only play on the English version, then you guys know what's incoming. So if you guys are planning to spend some money, then you guys can probably save up until you guys see guy. All right. So over here right now we have tons of uh, raid missions being open right now. I mean boss missions. When I say raid, I keep saying raid. Sorry about that. Uh, anyways, right now it's open from October 26 to 11, uh, not 11.9, to uh, November 9th, 11.59, okay? So on this one, you'll be able to get a four stars Itachi. And also he uses Tsukuyomi. And uh, let's see. And the next ones are the older ones. So I'm not going to go through these. We have the boss raid for Gara. We have the boss for um, Rock Lee and then Zabuza as well. So, you know, we can actually attempt these ones right now and get those materials needed to awaken your characters to uh, six stars. Okay. And then over here, we have the incoming uh, events. Okay. So the trial event for. Uh, this one right here, where you battle against the third Hokage, will be coming back soon. And then Temari mission will also be coming back soon. Also, the Thousand Years of Pain Kakashi will be coming back soon as well, the event. And that's it for all the news and um, events and summons for both the English and the Japanese version. And I'm glad we uh, finally got through that. I'm so sorry I have been, uh, you know, stuttering and lost of words. And things like that i'm so sorry about that because you know it's like 3 a.m now i usually don't stay up this late but um but anyways so i'm just gonna take a look at the rates and we're gonna do a multi-summon today in today's video yay <laughs> okay so 55 gems right so uh five i mean sorry four pickup characters and they're at four percent uh, in total and then eight percent chance like drop rate for 43 of the other five stars and then 35 percent chance for 40 of the four stars and 53 percent chance for the other uh 15 uh units which is the three stars okay so pick up characters we have itachi gara rockley and sabuza basically all of those characters that will require the raid or boss drops to awaken uh and they're very awesome stuff so you know let's see what i'll be getting Okay, let's take a look. Oh, okay. Now, if you guys take a look at this part, it's actually more uh, descriptive. For his regular jutsu, what it does is 2.6 dam, 2.6 times damage to everyone within his range, and also there's a 70% success rate to cause slip damage for five turns. Okay, so we didn't see this earlier when I show you guys that details page. So I believe uh, that second part, uh, you know, that dodging things for three turns. Um, wait, dodging incoming attacks three times for three turns of his attack turns. Okay, uh, that will probably be his secret technique because it's not shown here. So that's why it sounds pretty complicated because, yeah, it kind of sounds like it. So that's it. I don't need to translate the other ones because I think I've already done those for you guys. So. Here we go, guys. I, um, you know, I always like pulling on the Japanese Naruto Ultimate Blazing because I seem to have really good luck and always pull, manage to pull five stars. But I actually don't even want to mention that in this video because I don't wanna, I don't wanna jinx myself. But here we go. Now I'm nervous. Usually I'm very excited and happy. But here we go. <sighs> All right, the pressure is on. Come on out, please. Oh no, no Sasuke. Oh no! Did I really jinx myself this time? Okay, we'll have to see. Is he the new one? Hmm. Hmm, I forgot. Okay, we got you know the old itachi and that's it oh no well uh you know what at five gems i kind of want to do a single pull but at the same time i kind of don't want to 
So let's see. The reason why I don't want to is because I kind of want to save the gems just in case I need them for my missions. So yeah, I guess that that will be a better better choice for me. So too bad I couldn't get the Itachi, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to try next time. And uh, maybe when the Japanese version gets the Heart Elemental campaign, I'll I'll spend those gems on Tsunade on on trying to get Tsunade. And that's it, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more quality content. And as always, I'll see you all at my next video. Take care and bye now.